Good morning, everybody. I'm Molly from Bell Farms. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done a packing house video, so just didn't want you guys to forget we're still packing potatoes all the time. So today we are gonna do a market basket load and then we're gonna pack a little bit more, I think, for another farm. Um, yeah, so that's the plan and I'll bring you guys along. So part of the morning routine is to change the date on the clips. Uh, we've got to turn all the equipment on and get everything set up. Um, looks like things are going good over here. All right, so um, we will go ahead and log into this and then we're gonna pick a recipe for today. And when I say recipe, I'm talking about how uh, we set this grater to grade the potatoes. So there's a lot of different factors that you can adjust so that you can get the outcome that you want. Um, so we are gonna stick with the one that we're on right now. Okay, so we'll go back to the home screen here. Um, the light level needs to get warmed up. Um, so what I do in the morning is I go ahead and run kind of like a, a test on all of the components just to make sure everything's running right. And this spinal flex system here, uh, this is what kind of drops the potatoes on the conveyor that it belongs to. So I'm kind of listening here uh, to hear that the sound is very consistent. I don't hear any odd drops or odd clicking noises. So everything seems to be going fine with that. And the belts will start moving over here. Rollers are stuck spinning. Um, everything seems to be going good. So we're just gonna let this warm up a little bit. The light level's still not quite there yet, so that takes a few minutes. So this is the first thing we do when we come in is we turn on the new tech and we turn on the bulm bagger and the baler. Hi, good morning. Good morning run through here, check everything's all working properly. So basically what Shane is doing here is he is um, opening and closing the, the weigh buckets uh, just to make sure everything is operating smoothly and that kind of forces air through the system, right? Yeah, yeah, yep. I just kind of prime all the air lines and just cycle everything, make sure it's working properly. All right, so now we'll get the baler going. So these guys are over here putting on these traceability stickers. Um, each, each master gets a sticker um, that just is part of our food safety system. So each morning I print out the stickers for the loads and then we put them on the masters and that way when they go to their next de destination, they know where they came from and we know where they came from as well. So that's part of the trace back, trace forward program. What we're doing over here today is we are bagging chefs here and we've got our number twos they're going to go into the big tote bag here and that is our ugly potatoes and then we have size b is going to go over here so brian has gone ahead and he has labeled these tote bags we're ready to go for the morning he gets here a little early so that's nice he kind of takes care of a couple little things um, when we get here we can kind of get things rolling and start going Bessie's here. All right, so we got our market basket bags on. Um, looks like we're good to go. The clips will have to be changed when this runs out. We do change the clips a couple times each load. Yeah, everything looks like it's going good. So the back half of the line is, uh, you guys have seen that many times, the red equipment. So that stuff will all get turned on uh, as soon as we're ready to actually start bagging. 
So that's the last part of getting ready in the morning. Verifying everything's going where we want it to go. Conveyor, sizes, great filter. Okay. All right. About there. All right, and Erica will be up here. Um, she's got a nice empty bin here to get started. Some milk crates. She likes to put her rocks in there. I mean, obviously, I like to separate the rocks, too. Uh, we don't want cows getting rocks, so. Everything looks pretty good to go. It is Monday morning. Today is the 4th, uh, March 4th. All right, so we have a very busy week ahead of us. We're going to be bagging potatoes almost every single day this week. Uh, we've got five loads going out. A couple market basket loads and a couple uh, loads that are going to another farm. So, yeah, should be good. Um, last week was a little bit slower and it was kind of nice. We actually had a chance to relax a little bit, which was good. Uh, but we're back at it today. I'm going to go into the, the pile here, the room, uh, the case band where we have potatoes. And let's go see how many potatoes we have left. Got the bucket loaders ready to go. Ray's got the hopper filled and he's got some in the bucket ready to be dumped. All right. Into the dark. Well, I hear they just turned everything on. So let's check this out. Wow. <laughs> Not that much left in here, guys. We're getting there. All right, so right here, Shane has moved these tote bags of chef potatoes into the case band now that we have room to store things. And this is where we are with the pile. So we are getting there. This is exciting. I'll be excited to see what this looks like at the end of the week. Um, I'm going to keep you guys updated this week on the potato packing just because uh, it's been a little while since I've done any potato videos. Um, and I want to see how close we are to being finished after this week. Five loads is a lot and it should make a pretty big dent in this pile with what's left here. That's where we are right now. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of packing footage and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Got things turned on here. Brian doing chefs today. I'll get myself set up over here and show you guys how it goes.
everybody. So I'm taking Erica's place. She's gotta go pick up her daughter. So I'm gonna end my day over here grading potatoes. And thanks for joining us today and I'll see you guys in the next one.